Hey, it's Riley Bowman with ConcealedCarry.com and I'm really excited to be sitting here with Brandon Scott from Culper Precision and uh, really excited to talk to you about their new pistol bringing to market that is unlike anything that you'll see out there in terms of pistol technology. I mean, and this is a project that has been ongoing for some time now and we're going to let Brandon uh, tell a story about that, but what we're talking about here is the Culper Precision Atomic 6, which is, you see right here, we've got a Glock 19 pistol with carbon fiber laid into the steel slide, uh, making this the lightest Glock 19 you'll find. Yes. Right? Yeah. So uh, let's get into it. In fact, we're, we're, gonna, we're just going to okay. set that down there. Great. But, um, so the Atomic 6, Brandon, like... You got to tell us first of all, like what, what the heck think, is this thing? You know, like okay, <laughs> hey, you know what? Well, you, you just wake up one morning and you're like, hmm, I'm gonna put carbon fiber in the slide of a Glock yeah. 19. <laughs> Basically, it's not it's not that far. <laughs> so um, what what started all of this was uh, was Konasig with their with their one to one. Mm. And uh, there's a documentary that I watched uh, that was kind of uh, following Christian through the development of the one to one. Um, and you know, the kind of the ultimate hyper car of all hyper cars. Mm. And I've always just had a thing for carbon fiber. I think that it's, 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 I, I, I love it because it has so many different properties. Like from an engineering perspective, it's ultra light, it's ultra strong. Um, it's, it's moldable. There's a million different things that you can do with it. Right. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but then from like an aesthetic point of view, um, it's, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. And, and you can get it in, in a multiple of different weaves and patterns and, and, and all of that kind of stuff where you can, you can really kind of, uh, deliver uh, a flavor to whatever it is that you're making out of carbon fiber. And I just want to make everything out of carbon fiber and it gets its name atomic six because the atomic number, uh, you know, if you remember back in high school, the periodic table of <laughs> the elements, a while ago. <laughs> uh, the atomic number of carbon is, is six. Um, and so uh, that's that's where it gets its name. At the end of the day, it's like, okay, well, if we can make a Glock that's half as light, or a Glock slide that's half as light as its predecessor, right, the factory Glock 19, then awesome. So we start going after every single little gram that we can pull out of this thing um, and still make it work right. So we started by collaborating with Andy at Nomad Defense, who builds right. this amazing um, Glock lower, which for me solved all the problems that I have with the factory Glock lower, right? But Andy, he preserved all the excellent things that um, that Glock has figured out with with their factory lower in the Nomad Defense lower. But then he adds this nice deep dovetail. He has you know interchangeable back straps, and uh, and the, he has this you know the the enhanced uh, glove bevel in the in the uh, in the trigger guard. Right. He has this really neat you know. Um, uh, I, I hesitate or, to call or, them uh, well thumb indexing thumb, cuts yeah. right mm -hmm. yep yep and uh, I mean the apex trigger like I have this love hate relationship with the apex trigger because from an aesthetic point of view like it's kind of chunky it's kind of chubby <laughs> and I got a lot of chubby in my life you know <laughs> but at the end of the day like when you've got a guy um, that, uh, that that wants reliability which that's the name of the game with Glock is is reliability. And, um, and so at the end of the day, oh, by the way, this is a completely inert firearm. The, yeah, uh, the firing it, yeah. pin has been shaved down. There is absolutely no way. And we did verify that before we actually started filming here. We so, did. Yeah, so this has th been this on the was, range all day today. Yeah, this was a gun that was on the range as a display model, yeah. and it's still in that configuration. So, exactly. So if you see something here that you're like, oh, man, the, you know, no worries. Yeah. But, yeah, so just real quick. I mean, so you've been going, kind of going through the different companies that you've mm -hmm. collaborated with. we got the Nomad Defense uh, Frame. Got an apex trigger, mm -hmm. uh, and by the way, back to the frames real quick. I'll bet some of you guys that are not Glock fans, I'll bet I could have you close your eyes and stick this in your hand, and you would not recognize it for what it is. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Yeah. So, and then you have finally you have of course uh, Zev that uh, that just builds phenomenal competition internals, mm -hmm. and so we're sourcing all uh, all the upper internals and stuff like that are all Zev competition internals, and then the slide and the barrel is uh, something that we build. Nice. And uh, and so... Um, yeah, so we see that nice little CXP Culper Precision that's us. branding on the barrel there. I like the little... 
The nine millimeter designation is kind of funny. It actually shows a nine millimeter cartridge. Yeah. Uh, pretty, hard it's to, about, uh, pretty hard to miss that. Eighty, like it's it's sized down. It's it's two scale. It's about eighty seven percent of scale. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, uh, this is already optics ready. We've got a little optic plate there mm -hmm. in place right now. Yeah. We saw in the range today with uh, the SRO, the RMR, uh, Hollow Sun, five hundred seven. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yep, yeah. Yep. Trigicon sights, night sights. Yeah. Your so we're a custom shop, so it's your choice of suppressor high or Trigicon HDs. If mm -hmm. you're not going to shoot with an optic, then don't put uh, suppressor eyes on it. Sure, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's all. That's fantastic, yeah. man. So we got Zef internals, Apex trigger, Nomad frame, yeah. your guys' slide, barrel, yeah. uh, Trigicon sights. So, and then also uh, recoil spring. Uh, by Springco. Springco. Yep. Which, I mean, that's part of the magic of this, you know, obviously. So it's time we got to give you some love, brother. So back <laughs> to what you've done. Well, and that's with the this. thing. It's like, um, you know, I, I like my story here is is about the collaboration and mm -hmm. like look at what a cool thing that we built because um you know we want to give love to all these companies and right. you know all these guys are building such cool stuff that it made it so that i could focus on what i wanted to do of building a car a co-cured carbon fiber glock slide the lightest glock slide mm. um in the world right so yeah. um from you know like the, the so from the from us when like you when you purchase the atomic six it's going to come with everything that you see here in this awesome nanic case um that's been uh, we have custom foam and everything like that inside of there and then we we laser um all the uh, all the details there on the top of it um, and then it comes with two uh, match, stainless steel match grade target crowned box fluted barrels that are fully supported chambers. Mm. Um, good solid. Two. Yes. Yeah. So uh, threaded and non threaded. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Cool. Good, um, good because uh, the this you know finding finding the right compensator for this, which we have, um, we're uh, we're working on some partnerships with compensators right now that uh, eventually we would we would like to be able to offer it to where it's like you can choose you know between a couple of different triggers you can choose between a couple of different sites you can choose between a couple of different comps and stuff to really build something that's your own because that's our roots is is as a custom shop right. Mm -hmm. um, and so, uh, yeah. And so then there's the uh, the atomic slide, that co-cured co carbon mm -hmm. fiber. So we're, we've removed about 43% of the weight of the of the slide. It's and almost then half. Almost half. It's I really was half. trying to go for half. We went after every single gram that we could, mm -hmm. and uh, and and 50% is just too much. Sure. <laughs> well, now let's talk about some of the, some of those numbers there real quick. You take you took 43% of the weight out of the slide of the atomic six. So where does that leave us in terms of the weight of th this gun? So as it sits right now, uh, no magazine uh, with a full threaded barrel, you're at 16.7 ounces of weight, um, which compared to a Glock 43 at 16.4 ounces, it's it's darn near a Glock 43. Did you just say Glock 43? 43, yes. <laughs> Not 43X. Okay, 43. So, so we have here a Glock 19 that weighs 0.3 ounces more than a Glock 43. Not a 43X, Correct. not a 48. This thing weighs lighter than a 43X and a 48. Yes. It weighs almost the same as a Glock 43. Yeah. And so like, and that's the big thing is like, people are like, oh, well you took all that weight out of the slide. Sure. So when I'm shooting it, it's got the, it's gotta just beat the tar out of me, you know? Right. And it's like, well, no, cause like, People shoot 43 and 43X all day long, right. right? And the reality is you actually have more to hold on to here. Yeah, more which, grip, you know, mm -hmm. surface area. Which is gonna uh, reduce your felt recoil. Help, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it shot awesome. I, you know, actually it was probably the most fun gun to shoot today because I hit the target the most times I think with <laughs> this gun. Go. So, That's you all know, that matters, that, man. That, you know, that says something too, <laughs> you know. And that could have been too that, you know, we had like the SRO and stuff mounted yeah. on a couple of them. And maybe you actually just sight your guns in, you know, better than some of the other guys. There was one of them that was really off at okay. yeah, the first in the morning. And uh, we did a little bit of adjustment and, and then we were... We it was were better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Brandon, uh, tell folks, I mean, you're making this, uh, I mean, are you, are, are you actually putting these out there people yeah. people so, are ordering uh, buying in, picking these up yeah we are in full production right now so nice. um we had a limited run of 20 for our limited pre-launch mm. um and we sold out of our limited run nice. um right now uh we're still in the process of delivering those we've delivered um uh like i think it's four or five something like that mm -hmm. we've got uh 
a handful of guns here at SHOT Show. These are all right. of our test bed firearms that came down here to SHOT Show. Um, and then when we get back, we've got a whole grip of guns like Ready Gunner. Um, Neil and Casey have just been phenomenal in supporting us uh, over the years. And so um, they actually have the limited um, serial number. So the, the first 20 were limited serial numbers, uh, numbered guns, one through 20. And, uh, and so um, because of that relationship with Neil, he gets uh, numbers one through five. And so uh, we're going to be delivering those. Um, after we've been waiting essentially for SHOT Show and for sure. you know, the unveiling of this firearm mm. um, before we deliver those. And they're, they're sitting there at the shop. They're ready to be delivered. And, and so uh, he says that uh, you know, we're going to drop those off on Monday or Tuesday when we're back. And, mm. and, uh, and those will be available through, uh, through Ready Gunner's website and um, all the rest of the guns. Um, there's been, uh, like I say, a, a little bit more than a handful that's been delivered to customers, and so far those customers are just super, super pumped. We have one gun out there that um, this guy is super hot about it, and uh, he's put like uh, five or five or six thousand rounds through his through his atomic, wow. and he just rants and raves. I mean, we get. Mm all kinds of calls from all of his buddies and, and wondering what they're doing. And so um, we're only going to offer another uh, 650 for sale um, because um, as we've scaled up production and stuff like that, I know that I can deliver that um, inside of six months, which is, uh, I believe, an acceptable time frame for something like this. And, uh, and then once we get through these 650 here that we're here at SHOT Show to sell, um, and uh, a number of which uh, were sold today, um, then, uh, then by that time, the hope is to be able to open up for larger and larger orders with uh, yeah. with larger and larger distributors and and some and, of our good and customers. You'll be able and to take those next steps to scale up your production some more. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So that's that's the plan. But we uh, we're excited to get these out. Thank you to uh, our customers that have ordered these, and those of you that are are waiting on these guns. They are going to be in your hands very very soon. And uh, for those of you that are interested in these guns, um, next week. Uh, hit up Ready Gunner as he will have uh, he will have the first five numbers one through five of our production model, yeah. and uh, yeah. And of course, you can check things out on culperprecision.com. Uh, I encourage you to check out their website. They got a great video too, by the way, kind of showing some of the manufacturing process, the machining, the carbon fiber, uh, all that. So culperprecision.com, Brandon. I'm really excited to see what's coming from you next. And uh, yeah, I, I think there's... We're uh, going to do this for a minute, and then, <laughs> but we, we've got some but stuff. something else, yeah, it's coming. <laughs> yeah, so stay tuned. Uh, thanks for chatting with me this evening. And guys, till next time, you know, you know what to do. So hit, hit the range, practice, uh, maybe buy a good quality gun, and uh, hopefully get a little bit better. So thanks for Absolutely. watching.